Hi boys and girls, how are you today? I'm excited because we have a new lesson book and we have a new story. It's one of my favorites. Let's look at our memory verse. Do you see the picture here? It shows a little girl whose foot is broken. She can't walk very well. She has crutches to help her. And the memory verse says, it is good that you help. If somebody has a hurt or broken foot and they can't walk, we can be a helper for them. That's what God wants. Let's say our memory verse together, okay? It is good that you help. Let's do it again. It is good that you help. Good job. Well, in our story today, Jesus' helpers, Peter and John, were doing something amazing. Let's see. They visited the temple. Big temple with big steps. And there was somebody there before they came. Early in the morning, this man came. His two friends brought him. His feet don't work. They're not broken right now or hurt today. They don't work any day. All the time, this man cannot walk. His friends bring him every day to the temple. What does he do as he sits there all day? Hmm. Well, this is what he does. All day long, he sits with a little bowl and he asks people for money. Money, please, please. Money for a poor man, money for a man who cannot walk, a man who cannot work. When he cannot walk, he cannot work. He could not take care of himself. All day long, he looked up in the hot sun and asked, Money, please help, please help. Money for a poor man, please. And all day, people busy were busy coming and going. Maybe a few people dropped a coin or two coins into his bowl. Do you see what I have? I have some money here. Have you ever seen somebody asking for money? Please, please for a poor person? Well, Peter and John saw this man when they came. They saw him in the hot sun. They saw him sitting and asking. They looked right at him. Peter and John feeling sorry for this man. Hmm. Please, money for a poor man, he called, please. He hoped they would stop. He hoped they would drop some coins into his jar. Hmm. What will Peter and John do? How will they be helpers for this man, for Jesus? Peter and John came. They came close. They smiled at him. Will he give lots of money, the poor man thought? Maybe he'll give me a lot. But Peter said something different. He said, friend, I don't have any money. Money? How can you help me, thought the poor man. I don't have money, but I have something better, and I will give it to you, said Peter. Oh, what was better? What was better? See Peter take his hand? Peter said, stand up in the name of Jesus. Oh, can the man walk? No. Can he stand up? Hmm. In the name of Jesus. Did Jesus heal people? Did he make them walk when they were lame? Oh, yes. Peter and John's gift to the man was to give them what Jesus gave. He, they gave the man Jesus' power to walk. Oh, the good news of Jesus came and made this man walk. Wow! Wow! What do you think the man did? You want to see? He jumped up and down. He laughed and he cried. Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! He shouted. All around, the people stopped and looked. What's happening? What? Isn't that 
that's a lame man? He can't walk. He can walk. <laughs> Jesus' name has power to fix things. Oh, wow. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for Peter and John. Thank you, God, for friends who help. God calls us to share his good news and power with everybody we meet. If you see somebody who's asking for money, maybe there's something we can give them. Maybe money. Maybe we can give them love, too. Maybe we can share other things that we have that they might need. When people are sick or poor or sad, they might need some other kindness from us that we can share. You can be a helper for Jesus. You can share Jesus' love and Jesus' gifts of his power to change people's lives and heal their hearts and the other things that they need. When we pray for people and we share Jesus' love, that is being a helper for God. That's what our memory verse said. It is good that you help. Boys and girls, will you be a helper with me this week and help everyone you know and everyone you see? That's good. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.